Mutation is a permanent change in the number, arrangement, or sequence of nucleotides in a gene. Mutation can range in size from the single base to a large segment of chromosome. Polymorphism, on the other hand, is the presence of more than one type of gene in the population in a substantial frequency. A polymorphic gene is the one at which the frequency of the most common allele is less than 95%. Here are three types of mutations in their frequencies. The most frequent mutation is genome mutation, followed by chromosome mutation and gene mutation. A new mutation can be caused by environmental factors such as UV light, nuclear radiation, and certain chemicals. Mutations can also be caused by intrinsic mistakes made by DNA polymerase. A mutation can be inherited or acquired. A hereditary mutation is permanent change in reproductive cells. For example, mutation occurs in an egg and later becomes incorporated in the DNA of all cells of offspring. An acquired mutation is permanent change that arises within individual somatic cells. For example, mutation occurs in the somatic cells and accumulates throughout a person's lifetime. In this lecture, we will focus on gene mutation, and we will cover three topics. We will start with type of gene mutation. Based on change in DNA sequence, mutation can be classified into base substitution, deletion, and insertion. Base substitution, also known as point mutation, involves a change in the identity of a single base. There are two types of point mutation. One is transition, in which a purine base is replaced by another purine base. Pyrimidine is replaced by another pyrimidine. Transversion changes the nature of the base. A purine base is replaced by a pyrimidine, or a pyrimidine is replaced by a purine. As shown in lecture B07, oxidative deamination generates transition. Oxidation of guanine generates transversions. When a mutation occurs in the coding region, for example, the coding strand of a DNA contains TAC, corresponding to a codon UAC. It codes for amino acid tyrosine. When C is replaced by T, for example, the codon UAU codes for the same amino acid tyrosine. This type of mutation is called silent mutation. When T is replaced by A, for example, the codon AAC codes for asparagine. It's changed the nature of amino acid. And this type of mutation is called missense mutation. When C is replaced by G, AUG is a stop codon. So this type of mutation is called nonsense mutation. Silent mutation, midsense mutation, 
and nonsense mutation are summarized on this slide. This is a high yield topic for MBME. When a mutation occurs in a non coding region, such as promoter, enhancer, transcription termination signal, or intron splice size, this type of mutation can be classified into two groups. One is regulatory mutation. Some genes can switch on or off other genes. Mutation in these genes can have significant effects. For example, genes for DNA repair enzymes, when they are switched off, mutation rate for the entire genome can increase dramatically. The second group is mutations in splice sites. This affects the accuracy of intron removal from heterogeneous nuclear RNA during post-transcriptional processing. If a splice size is lost, two situations may occur. First, the intron is left unspliced. As shown here, when spliced donor is mutated, the intron is left unspliced. Second situation is the cell will use a nearby size for splicing. This will cause the cell to either delete nucleotides from exon or add nucleotides from intron. But if the cell use the next normal splice size, it will result in deletion of the entire exon. Inaccurate splicing has clinical correlation. Beta thalassemia. Some cases are caused by splicing defects due to mutations in the splice size in the HPV gene. Other examples include Gaucher's disease and Tay-Sachs disease. Frame shift mutation is caused by loss or gain of one or two nucleotides, resulting in misreading of the effect of colon and the ones that follow, leading to a different or non-functional protein. Here is an example. When one nucleotide is added to the sequence, the rest of the sequence changes the meaning. But if we delete three nucleotides, this will lead to a deletion of one amino acid. The rest sequence is still intact. Deletions can be very large. Large segment deletions can arise as a result of recombination between repeated sequences. For example, here are two chromosomes. These are repeated sequences. Crossing over between these sides leads to two unequal recombined chromosomes. One with a deletion, another one with insertion of a segment. There's a group of diseases in which extra tandem copies of trinucleotide are inserted into the gene. They are called trinucleotide repeat expansions. Mutant alleles differ from normal counterparts only in the number of tandem copies of a trinucleotide. Huntington disease and spinobulbar muscular atrophy have expansion of trinucleotide repeats in a coding region. Fragile S syndrome and myotonic dystrophy have expansion of trinuclear repeats in an untranslated region. In these diseases, the number of repeats increases with successive generations and correlates with increasing severity, decreasing age of onset. This phenomenon is called anticipation. This is a very important concept. For example, in normal Huntington allele, there are fewer than 26 tendon repeats of CAG in coding region. Affected members may have between 35 
in 120 repeats. Normal proteins has fewer than 26 adjacent glutamine residues. Proteins from disease alleles have 36 or more adjacent glutamine residues. This long glutamine segment makes the abnormal proteins very unstable. For mutation nomenclature, here are some basic rules. For example, the position of the mutation is designated as being either in genomic DNA or in the cDNA sequence by the prefix G or C, respectively. The A of the translational start ATG is designated plus one. The next base upstream is minus one. Here are some examples. This symbol indicates a mutation in which T is replaced by A at position 17 of cDNA. At protein level, this mutation causes glutamic acid to be replaced by valine at position 6. This symbol describes a single nucleotide deletion at position 1078 of cDNA. This mutation causes frame shift. This symbol describes a donor size mutation of genomic sequence of intron 33, in which T is replaced by A at second nucleotide from 5' prime end of intron. Mutations typically have effects on proteins in one of the two ways, loss of function or gain of function. Loss of function refers to reduced or complete loss of activity. Gain of function refers to increased activity or gain of new function. Loss of function mutations can result in reduced activity or complete loss of gene product. Most of the genetic disease we will cover in this course belong to this category. Loss of function mutation that causes either reduced activity or decreased stability of the gene product is known as hypomorph. A loss of function mutation that results in complete loss of the gene product is known as a null allele or a morph. A loss of function mutations in the heterozygous state in which half normal levels of the gene product result in phenotypic effects are called haploinsufficiency mutations. For example, familiar hypercholesterolemia due to mutation in the gene coding for LDL receptor and HHT due to mutation in endoglin. HHT stands for hereditary hemorrhagic telangiectasia. It features small vascular malformation on the skin and mucosal linings of the nose and GI tract. Here is an example of malformation on the nose. It is caused by mutation in endoglin gene which codes for TGF-beta receptor. Heterozygotes with the mutation still have phenotype. Gain of function mutations result in increased level of gene expression or the development of a new function of the gene product. For example, X-linked charcoal married tooth disease type 5 is caused by mutation in the PRPS gene which codes for PRPP synthase. Gain of function mutations cause superactivity of the enzyme and the overproduction of PRPP. The disease has hereditary motor and sensory neuropathy, leading to deafness and vision loss. Gain of function mutations are dominantly inherited. The rare instances of gain of function mutations occurring in the homozygous state 
are associated with a much more severe phenotype, which is often a prenatally lethal disorder, such as homozygous achondroplasia or Wardenburg syndrome type 1. A dominant mutation is one in which a mutant gene in the heterozygous state results in the loss of protein activity or function as a consequence of the mutant gene products interfering with the function of the normal gene product. Dominant negative mutations are particularly common in proteins that are dimers or multimers. For example, the structure protein collagen forms a trimer that is made up of two alpha-1 and one alpha-2 chains. A dominant negative mutation in alpha-1 chain leads to osteogenesis imperfecta. When the patient carries a normal allele in a mutant allele of alpha-1 chain, the normal allele produces a normal alpha-1 chain protein, represented here by B. 2B combine with 1C to make up a collagen. Although the amount of collagen is reduced, BBC is still functional. Heterozygous carrying a loss of function mutation has a mild phenotype. However, when a patient carries dominant negative allele of alpha-1 chain, as shown here as 8 star, the 8 star chain can still combine with normal chains, but they are non-functional and they are degraded. As a result, amount of normal collagen BBC is severely reduced, leading to severe osteogenesis imperfecta. Now let's move to part three. Allele refers to one of the alternative versions of DNA sequence at a given chromosome site. Polymorphism refers to existence of two or more alleles at a given chromosome site in the population. For example, here is a pair of chromosomes. At the locus X, there are two different versions of DNA sequence. They are called allele A. In allele B. There can be more than two alleles in a population at a given locus. For example, there are four different alleles at the locus A, A, B, C, D, and six different alleles at locus B, allele 1 to 6. Haplotype is an allelic constitution of multiple loci on a chromosome. For example, here are two individuals. Individual 1 has a haplotype A2 on one chromosome and B1 on the other chromosome. Individual 2 has a C3 haplotype on one chromosome and D6 on the other chromosome. In human genome, in between 100 and 300 base pair there's one polymorphism. As a result, there are around 5 million differences per individual genome. Rare variants are alleles that are present in the population at a frequency of less than 1%. Most deleterious mutations that lead to human disease are rare variants. Here are two examples of polymorphism in human genome. First one is ABO gene that control ABH antigens on red blood cells. Here is the plasma membrane of red blood cells. There are several different antigens. Here we will focus on ABH antigens. They are glycosphingolipids. They are different from each other by carbohydrates attached to the lipid. When these four sugar molecules are attached to ceramide, the resulting glycosphingolipid is H-antigen. When N-acetyl galactosamine 
is further attached to the H antigen by A transferase. It becomes A antigen. But when galactose is attached to the H antigen by B transferase, it becomes B antigen. A transferase and B transferase are derived from different alleles of ABO gene. The O allele are very similar to A alleles except there is a single nucleotide deletion, leading to a premature stop colon. As a result, O allele does not yield a transferase. This is a classic example of polymorphism. The second example of polymorphism is GALT gene. It encodes galactose 1-phosphate uridyl transferase. There are a number of normal alleles of this gene, such as G, D, L, A. In addition, there are a number of rare mutant alleles that produce no detectable enzyme activity, such as small g allele. When found as heterozygote over one of the normal alleles, there is a somewhat reduced enzyme activity, such as D over G. In homozygote, G over G, there is a galactosemia. It should be noted that there are a number of normal alleles giving rise to a wide range of enzyme activities. There is a considerable degree of individual diversity in the population due to polymorphism. Because of polymorphism, each person might respond differently to the environment, to diet, and to pharmacological treatments. Here we will focus on two types of polymorphism. First one is single nucleotide polymorphism, or SNP. It represents DNA sequence variations that occurs when a single nucleotide in the genome sequence is altered, such as these. The Human Genome Project has identified millions of SNPs. Microarray-based methods can rapidly screen individual genome. We will describe this technique in a later chapter. The second example of polymorphism is restriction fragment lens polymorphism. It can be detected as a change in the restriction fragment lens pattern. For example, here are two alleles. The second allele has an enzyme restriction size in the middle. The first allele doesn't. When we cut genomic DNAs from these two alleles, the first allele will yield a longer fragment than the second allele. This difference can be detected by the size of the bands obtained by sudden blot analysis. Restriction fragment lens polymorphism is very useful for mapping genes and for diagnosis. There are two cases in which we can use restriction fragment lens polymorphism to trace chromosome. First case is to find a polymorphic allele that arises due to absence of presence of a single restriction site. Here is the same example as the one I showed you earlier. The second allele contains an enzyme restriction site. The first allele doesn't. We design a radio labeled probe to detect these two fragments. In sudden blood analysis, the first allele will generate a longer fragment than the second allele after we cut with the enzyme. This is the result from sudden blot. 
if a person is heterozygote for both allele, two bands are expected. The higher band represents first allele, and the lower band represents second allele. If a person is homozygote for one allele, only one band is expected, either the higher band or the lower band. The second case is to find the polymorphic allele that arises due to variable numbers of tandem repeats. Here are three alleles, A, B, C. Allele A has four repeats. Allele B has three repeats. And allele C has two repeats. Restriction using the same enzyme will generate bands with different size. These tandem repeats are typically variable, and two alleles are likely different in size even within one individual. Here is a real case with a hypervariable polymorphism. Everyone in this family is heterozygote at this locus. Patterns such as these help in identifying the two chromosomes and make it easier to track the inheritance of a genetic disease.